no, 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 no. <laughs> Today we're gonna talk about how the action figures companies are not able to do heroic proportions, but instead they just do people in cosplay. Just a regular person with no muscles, big head, just strange. Um, I'm going to mostly talk about Spider-Man because I just own mostly Spider-Man figures, but I'm going to mention some other figures as well. And we're going to talk about different companies. So I posted these pictures on Instagram some days ago. So the Spider-Man 2, 3, I think it's from the 3 on the left. And how, how Hasbro does their Spider-Man figures, not just Toby, not just Spider-Man 2, No Way Home. I'm talking about in general. So the shoulders are low, the shoulders are small, chest is small, flat, totally flat chest. Especially the Toby figure from No Way Home, they did. And big tie gap. So this is how it actually looks. Some people said that he didn't look like that. So in No Way Home, he still was fit. He didn't have a, he didn't have a belly and he had shoulders. So the, the left is from the Spider-Man 2 and the right is from No Way Home. As you can see, there's not much difference. Not at all. So, he wasn't as buff as Spider-Man 3, maybe, but it was close to Spider-Man 2, I think. So, I think this other picture was from Spider-Man 3. So, he had shoulders. And then we look at the Marvel, Marvel Legends version from Hasbro. The shoulders are low. It is small. The chest is flat. There is no muscle definition anywhere, not even in the legs, not on the arms. And he looks like he has a belly, especially when you, you move the figure. The articulation point is just strange. And the unmasked hat wasn't that the best anyway. He looked like the young version here on the left and not really on the right. And the lines weren't painted well. The silver, I think it's just too bright silver they used. They should have used like gunmetal gray. And it's just, as you see on the torso, each copy of this figure just not painted well. And people are criticizing also Toybis, saying they also didn't do a good job. But that was 20 years ago. So they did this figure. Super possible Spider-Man. But he had better paint apps 20 years ago. Cheaper. But had better paint apps, even more details. The lines were per painted perfect, almost perfect. And people compare this to what Hasbro does today. I think you should compare it to what Hasbro did in the past. So when they got first the license, they did the Spider-Man 3 Marvel Legends line. And this was the symbiote Spider-Man they did. They didn't just take this body and paint it black and change the logo. They made their own figure. They tried to make their own figure. It's it just much so much worse than what Toybis did. Small head, just weird proportions everywhere, weird articulation. It wasn't puzzle at all. And then they even tried to make the Toybis version again. It's for the Spider-Man 3 with different colors. The plastic quality sucked. And basically, just everything about it sucked. The, the lines weren't perfect, painted perfect. It was many had, had many issues. Toybis was perfect. So if you want to compare, compare to this time, I think. And especially when you had the mold, you had everything. The only thing you had to do was production, and they still failed, basically. And Toybees even did this kind of figures in the past. So this is also 20 years ago, from, or more than 20 years ago, from Spider-Man 2. And it was a huge figure with a lot of articulation. And this figure is still one of my favorite. I still own this figure. And they did very well back in the day. So why can't we do much better today? And it's not just about Spider-Man. As you can see, this mold, this body mold just is strange. They also did Spider-Man figures with this mold. The shoulders are low, small chest, big tie gap. It just doesn't, doesn't work with the character. And the best example that to show is Jada Toys. So as you can see, this figure is the same price point, has higher shoulders, big shoulders. It's not perfect, of course, because you have to make the articulation, so the shoulders are a bit still low. But it is as good as it can get. And there is no tie gap. Even he has this thick pants here. But it can still articulate very well. I own, the, I own this figure. And has some still some paint definition on the muscles. It's the same price. And you get this fire effect. You have an extra head. You get interchangeable hands. And they do an amazing job. And I, I, I'm not like a big Street Fighter fan. But I want to buy the figures for just for this, this reason. They're just good action figures. And what Hasbro recently did is the Snapshot Spider-Man, I think it's called. 
but I think this is called Assassin's Spider-Man. They didn't use the real name, and either they didn't give him guns. I guess it's forbidden somehow, which is strange. But look at the gap on the ties here. I mean, how can you engineer such a figure and think, okay, let's release this figure. It looks perfect. How, how the hell is this possible? So the shoulders are low, just like all the other figures. We know it's going to happen. That was a no surprise. But what is what's what's going on with these legs? So far apart. Do you, do, you, do you know any human being looking like this, or any comic book art looking like this? Do you? And Hasbro is not the only one we're going to talk about. As I said, SH Figure Arts Bandai, the Amazing Spider-Man Two. This ties just a lot of cuts. Just looks strange for a hundred plus dollar figure. It should not look like this. This just looks weird. Long neck, the shoulders are okay, but overall the proportion here is not not well. So it looks even more that the neck is higher and the head sculpt is not well. It looks like a I don't know. This looks like I don't know, just strange like a peanut head. Yeah, the head looks like a peanut. So the proportions are overall okay if you don't look at the cuts. Just the cuts makes it worse. I think they should they should really try a different method for the legs. Because as I said, for Jada toys, for a very cheap price, they're able to make this cut, no cut, artic very well articulated legs. Why do you need to do this? And their recent release, No Way Home, Final Swing, Spider-Man, was good enough. Paint is very nice. This metallic paint, and also there's no paint like defects at all but still he, he looks like he has diapers just like this one and it is very visible also like this area is just really really strange it's really not necessary overall it was a fine figure but I'm also not a fan of the head sculpt because it doesn't look that movie accurate this is not that bad as they did before but Mayfix got it right the head shape how Tom Holland Spider-Man looks like of course they're Face printing is also not that good, so the unmasked cap doesn't look well. But actually, Mayfix mostly gets it right how they look like. Mayfix's problem is with the plastic quality and stuff. They got it better, much better over time. So I'm not going to talk that much about Mayfix. But yeah, overall, how they made figures look proportion-wise is good. Sometimes they have mistakes, sometimes not. But the Spider-Man figures they do, I'm talking about mainly, are very good if they don't break. And lastly, we're gonna talk about Mesco. So this is a promo picture of the recent Spider-Man. Looking good. Looks like a hero. Has shoulders, which are not that bad. And has chest. The head is not huge. And then this is what we got. Huge head, no chest. Looks like a person in pajamas, like a cosplay person. I look even more muscular than this person. And I'm training since two years, I guess. Only. And as you can see on the promo, even not on the promo, the box art, he has shoulders, he has muscles. Some people say, yeah, this is in a specific artist, specific time drawing. It could be, it could be not, but many of their Mesco figures, Mesco Spider-Man figures, overall Mesco figures, I also had the, the Crow Mesco figure, has a huge head and just, just a body that looks like a child. So it is not just this art or it's overall Mesco. They don't use the body molds that is looking muscular at all. Plus, the cloth quality is not that good. Has many defects already people had after, after pausing it a little while. It's just strange. So this is all I have to say. I'm going to keep criticizing. There's not many people doing it. If you want better figures, we got to talk about it. I know Anthony's customs are talking much about it. I didn't pay that much attention before I discovered his videos. And I'm seeing more and more how we don't get what we paid for.